Kathy Wood might be ushering in a new era of ARK Invest, where she does not handle people's money directly anymore. We have seen her let go of some key ETFs to a trusted associate at the investment firm. Why does Kathy Wood need to let go of her role? And when can we see her leave? We have some answers to the insane story of Kathy Wood stepping down from ARK Invest. Let us begin with the takeover. If there is one thing Kathy Wood ARK Investment has portrayed since 2014, it is that change is not for them. The firm had stuck to the same concentrated stocks in one sector and continued to hold until 2020 when they made a giant profit splash. However, the once iconic heroes of repetition have changed some things about their company. According to the regulatory filings they made in late September, the ARK Invest founder, Kathy Wood, is no longer the loan portfolio manager of all nine ETFs. Investment firms exchange traded funds, namely 3D Printing ETF and ARK Israel Innovative Technology ETF, are currently managed by William Scherer, trading manager for ARK since 2014. Kathy Wood is still in charge of all the seven other actively managed ETFs and is the chief investment officer. These two ETFs have a high possibility of dominating hedge funds again despite their massive fall. The two funds lost approximately 40% in value since the beginning of the year. The 3D printing ETF, which, if you have not guessed yet, is 3D printing focused, has $196.68 million in assets under management, while ARK Israel, the one with all the tech-heavy stocks, is worth $115.39 million in assets. This heavy fund asset is a result of Kathy Wood's persona, and she is an inspiring speaker with bullish views on her investments. We will share more about why investors are sticking to ARK shortly. The move to reduce Kathy Wood's role at ARK Investments has many people speculating that the firm might be restructuring and possibly soon getting rid of the 66-year-old. Kathy Wood had a tremendous year during COVID-19, and as much as she had assured people of a bounce back, the year had just failed to be favorable towards her. The ship of ARK Invest has been sinking beyond repair since Wood sent a newsletter to assure people of her strategy in December 2021. Innovation stocks seem to have entered deep value territory, as strategies today could deliver a 30 to 40% compound annual rate of return during the next five years. Her promises have not been fulfilled, as of nine months later. Her vocal critics, whom she made fun of for not rising to the challenge during COVID, have hit her back with unkind words. In her own newsletter, Wendy Tilson, a value investor, wrote, I don't think this is a dead cat bounce for ARK, but Wood is a terrible stock picker and an even worse risk manager. So far, ARK Invest ETFs have jumped from their glamorous $61 billion highs in 2021 to $16 billion as of September 2022. Nevertheless, many retail investors are not abandoning Kathy Woods. While you wonder, should I buy ARK Invest? Bloomberg reports that Woods' suite of ETFs has reigned in $167 million in investment since the year started. These investors are hanging on to something. It might be easier to blame Woods' high-risk appetite for it and say that she has found her matches, but that might not be true. Wood is electrifying when she speaks, and as far as the media offers her a chance to woo people, her fans will support her. She makes regular appearances on CNBC, Bloomberg TV, and other conferences where she declares her bullish views to the admiration of her fans on Reddit. While she makes these appearances, her personality has not changed with all the stock problems she has. Last year, she predicted that Tesla would make a $5 trillion market cap by 2026. Kathy Wood Bitcoin price prediction for 2030 is $1 million. These claims appeal to a younger group of investors looking to make a quick boom. Fortunately or unfortunately, it is on record that she has delivered in the past two years. One might wonder if these losses are directly felt inside the firm. Well, according to the newsletters, almost every employee at ARK is investing more and in following Wood's lead. We will explain briefly. Nonetheless, Robbie Greengold of Morningstar believes that it is only a matter of time before her investors turn on her. He believes that hope is the last thing carrying Kathy Wood, which could jeopardize if the dip she buys shows no substantial results in the time frame she is selling. He worries that while people call Kathy a savior for buying the dip, others are grieving the thousands of dollars they have lost. Morningstar has also rated ARK Invest a negative after rating a neutral buy option for so long. 
The reason for the rating is poor risk management and an increasingly concentrated portfolio. We are also running a concentrated channel on everything to do with finances and investments. If you like that kind of stuff, hit subscribe. Of course, Forbes has reported on Wood's net worth. She had $400 million in 2021, down to $140 million. This does not meet the estimated $215 million cutoff to represent Forbes' top 100 list. She had lost her net worth through investments at her own firm in cryptocurrency, Coinbase, Robinhood, and Roku. Some of her biggest stocks have lost over 50% throughout this year. As a serial investor, she has shared plans to start a crossover fund that invests directly into private companies. We are unsure if we will see Wood entirely out of the door, because she says about 97% of her employees support her decisions. She said they are all buying more to show confidence in her five-year long-term goals. There are many lessons from Kathy Wood in ARK Invest Rise and Fall, and we can take as many as possible, because they might help us climb the investment ladder. In a previous video, we enlisted basic takeaways you should know about the Kathy Wood ARK ETF crushing.